There are several uh, isomers with the formula um, C6H16N2. One isomer is shown here. The number of peaks in the 13 carbon NMR spectrum of the isomer, you've got to work that out. So how many different carbon environments are there? Well, it's symmetrical from that N onwards, up and down. So those two carbons are the same environments, that's one. Those two CH2s are in the same environment, that's the second one, both connect, bonded to that N. Here's a third one, a CH2 bonded to an N and a CH2 bonded to an NH2. So there's one, two, three, four. Splitting pattern of the hydrogens labelled alpha here, so the splitting pattern here. Well, they haven't got any hydrogens to the left, but they have got hydrogens to the right. They've got two hydrogens to the right. So two hydrogens bonded onto the, an adjacent carbon means that that will be a triplet. Explanation is, the neighbouring carbon atom, the, the carbon bonded to the CH2, has two hydrogens on it. Draw the structure of an isomer of um, C6H10N2 used to make nylon 66. Well, what's nylon 66? Nylon 66, it's got um, an amide link in there. It's a polyamide. The polyamide, it's an amide or a peptide, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, chemist called it an amide, so it's a polyamide, and it's been formed from an NH2, an amine on one end, and then six carbons, six CH2s, and then an NH2 on the other end. And then uh, on the other uh, monomer, you've had a carboxylic acid group or an acyl chloride group. If it were a carboxylic acid group on either end, it would release water. If it was an acyl chloride, a COCl, it would release HCl. So there's been an NH2 on either end of uh, six carbons, six CH2s, and the NH2 has reacted either with a carboxylic acid group to lose an H and an OH to make water, or the NH2 has reacted with nasal chloride to make H and a Cl. So that's the formula of the monomer here used to make nylon 66, either then with um, another monomer with six carbons in and um, two carboxylic acid groups at either end or two acyl groups at either end.